Hey everyone, this is Ravi Teja, developer advocate at Llama Index. So today we are here to discuss about uh, Olama's recent release on Olama support for uh, multimodal models. So if people are not aware of Olama, uh, Olama is a tool that allows uh, users to run open source LLMs and multimodal models locally on their local machines. It even supports a variety of models, including Llama 2, Code Llama, Lava, and various other models. Um, so you can run all these open source models locally in any uh, language uh, quickly on your local machine. That's the biggest advantage that you get with Olama. And there are various other uh, benefits as well, uh, such as the cost part. Since you are running locally, uh, all these models, uh, you don't have to uh, host it on cloud. So uh, you can avoid all the cloud costs and uh, it's fully uh, private, right? So it allows you to keep your data secure by running models on your local machines. So I think by now you might have got a uh, brief sense of what Olama is. And so let's get back to the focus of uh, this video, which is uh, Olama support for uh, multimodal models. So with Olama, you can actually run um, uh, Lava models locally. Uh, so all uh, you basically need to do is um, just Olama run Lava and your prompt probably uh, something like describe the, this image or what's present in this image or any other thing that you want, you would like to know about an image and then uh, pass the uh, path of the image and boom, uh, in a matter of seconds, you will get the result uh, all locally. So it, it in fact supports uh, various other use cases with the Lava model, something like uh, object detection and even uh, text recognition use case and there are even various other uh, parameter models uh, from 7 b billion parameter to uh, 13 billion and 24 uh, billion parameter models. So, so in this uh, video, we'll have basically two demonstration. First, let me show you how you can run uh, Olama locally on your laptop. And then uh, we'll look into usage of Olama uh, loc models with the uh, Llama index. So in this part, we'll cover extracting uh, structured information from an image, as well as building multimodal rag uh, with Olama and Llama index. So let's get started with it. So we have two images. Uh, the first one is an image with the text Olama on it. And the second one is uh, just a receipt in a restaurant. Uh, so we'll use both these images and see how Olama gives the text. As I said, we'll be taking two images, one with uh, an image uh, with the embedded text or llama and then a receipt image. So we have both these images. So let's run uh, some simple queries on it. So let's start with Olama run, lava, and then some question, let's say what's in the image. And then you need to view the path of the image, olama.png. Okay, so um, this will take a couple of seconds uh, for you to get the output and the output uh, will be streaming. Um, let's check it out. So it perfectly generated the, the output. I mean, the, there is a text, uh, Olama, and then um, some three letters and what is the meaning of Olama as well. Two, there is some uh, misspellings in it. And let's run uh, the on the other image as well, probably receipt and see uh, what will be the output. So, uh, so the image shows a receipt with text reads uh, some information about something. Uh, I think it just hallucinated with it because the defense of his actions that just something and and yeah about a pizza place i guess uh but yeah but that's how you can run uh, olama on your uh, laptop next we'll look into how you can use olama models with llama index to build uh, extract uh, information as well as multimodal rack stuff now we'll look into how you can use olama models with uh, uh, llama index so here we are specifically looking at uh, using Lava multimodal model uh, with Olama and Lama index. 
So in this cookbook, we have basically three use cases, but uh, specifically I'll be looking, uh, going deep into uh, data extraction from the images part and as well as multimodal rack. Um, you can always check the second one, retrieval augmented image captioning as well in this notebook. So let's get started with it. So uh, we have uh, the uh, model model, uh, Olama multi-model uh, class will help you to lower the model. Um, so there, as I said, there are different variations of Lava model, right? Uh, right? So uh, we'll use 13 billion parameter uh, model here. And then all you need to do is uh, load the image. You can download it and then load, load it. So here we are showcasing some uh, image um, of eight wings or chicken poppers and their fries and various other things present in this image. So all you need to do is uh, to get some structure extraction, you need to define a uh, identity class. Here we are uh, defining it as restaurant. Uh, so this will uh, extract all this information like uh, restaurant, food, uh, discount, price, rating, and review, whatever is present in the image. So, and then you basically define a prompt uh, of, uh, uh, of what is to be uh, passed for the uh, model and then and then the uh, parenting output parser which is the restaurant class we have defined and then uh, the doc i mean the image documents and the prompt and the model and let's define this program and then can pass the query here it is uh, can you summarize what is in this image and then accordingly it will uh, generate the structured data, uh, data in the data whatever is present so yeah, uh, it correctly generated what is a food and then uh, uh, probably not something on the restaurant name and yeah, so various other things. So that is one, the first part. The second part is retrieval augmented image ca uh, captioning, which we will not be looking into it. And uh, yeah, the other one is uh, multimodal rag. So here uh, we'll download some data of uh, cars and their descriptions. So what we do is uh, we embed both uh, text as well as images using clip embeddings, uh, which is totally done locally. Uh, we'll store both of them in uh, quadrant client and we'll have them in uh, text collection as well as image collection. So both text and images are stored in separate collections. So we'll define the image embedding model and then you can index them load the documents as well as index them by providing all the so uh, what is the text store and image store in the storage context and uh, index them and then you can start querying it uh, in the usual way you define a prompt as well and then you define both the uh, whatever the model is we are using llama 13 billion parameter model and then the uh, prompt here so you can start querying so something like tell me more about poche and then um it will generate a response so you can even check the what are the uh, nodes the uh, source information context it has used so which is uh, text some text and then as well as there are two images so similarly top case two by default and it retrieves two uh, top two text parts and then uh, uh, two images so all this is run uh, locally uh, since we are using clip embeddings as well as uh, lava ola uh, model which is which runs locally so everything is run uh, locally in your uh, laptop or wherever you want to run it so that's how you can build an uh, interesting applications uh, with olama uh, lava uh, and then uh, using llama index uh, some rag applications as well and structured data extraction as well so I hope you all liked it. Uh, please do experiment with uh, different applications with all our multimodal stuff and Llama Index and share with us. Uh, we'll, we are happy to showcase it on our handles. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.